Let's look at how to create categories in the gradebook and integrate rubrics and assignments in Blackboard. In Blackboard, we start here on our home page. Let's start with first creating a rubric so that when we create our assignments, we can attach that to it. So we'll scroll down to our course tools and we see the list of course tools and we're going to click on rubrics. Now this is going to take us to the page where um, where I've already created several rubrics, but in order to create a new rubric, we just start with create rubric and then we can enter whatever name we want here and then whatever description if we want to put the description for the assignment. Now it takes us to at the bottom, we can input whatever we want. So it starts with some preset categories, formatting, organization, and grammar, and then levels of achievement, novice, competent, and proficient. We can add rows or columns so that if we want a four column rubric or even just a one column rubric, that's fine. And then we can add, those are the columns, we can add rows, we can change these. So this is set up as percentages, but maybe we want to use points. I tend to use points for mine. Um, and then if I want to change these categories, I can change the names of those as I want to, uh, and then I can put my description here. Once I've done that, I can decide how many points there are for each category and enter those as I want to go. Now if I want to give some details here, I can add formatting and uh, or whatever, whatever subject or content. I want to put and just click Save. I fill in all the information and as I fill in these points I'm gonna see the increase in the total there. Once I hit Submit, that new rubric is going to appear. That's that rubric uh, here for me to use. We've created a rubric. Let's create an assignment using it. So we'll go to that instructional content. We're gonna go into our Module 2 because that's where we're gonna create some assignments. So we'll go into that Assignments folder, and here's where we can go ahead and create. So at the top, we want to click on this Assessments tab, and we're going to click Assignment to create a new assignment. So we can add the name of our new assignment here, and we'll give a description of what that assignment's going to look like below. Now here, if you have files to attach, you can click on any files that you want to add. Um, so I'm going to add a case study to this for the students to read. And then I'll go down and select my due dates. This is just a quick calendar where we can input that, set the time, and now we can input the grades, but because I'm going to select a rubric, I'm not going to select the grades because it'll be filled in automatically when I select my case study rubric. So you can see it'll ask me, I'll click OK, and those points will appear. Now here, the default doesn't show students the rubric, but I always like to show them the rubric with the scores so that they know which parts are being graded uh, and how they're being graded. Here, I also always click unlimited attempts so that if they submit the wrong thing or an incomplete thing, uh, then I, they can just keep submitting it and I'll only grade the last attempt. We click this check the submission for plagiarism using safe assign and I always allow students to view it so that they can see what they've done if they need to uh, support their resources better. We display the grades, we have a lot of options. I go ahead and give the score, and I want to have it included in my gradebook. I've got this available, and then I click Submit, and then the students have this new assignment, and it's connected to the rubric. And you'll see that it appears here, just below uh, our case study right there for students to do. So we've created some assignments. Let's look at how to categorize or how things are categorized with regard to assignments in Blackboard. So we'll look back on that left side and we're going to go back over to our control panel and we're going to look at the grade center. So when we click on that, we get needs grading in the full grade center. We can see everything is either an assignment or a test. So if we click on that, uh, we'll see our student names and we'll see whatever assignments that we've created, any columns. Um, and let's go back. The feature I like about this is this needs grading. Now we don't have anything here right now, but anytime a student submits, it appears in that needs grading column. And one last thing, we'll look at the grades, how it appears for students. So we'll click on the grade book and items appear, we can list them as all, whatever has been graded, what's upcoming, or 
how, what the student has submitted. And so we can also select the course order by the last activity, the due date, either the latest first or the oldest first. So you can't really categorize uh, types of things other than assignments or quizzes. Uh, but what I like is that, that we can have everything in the order, honestly, in the order that things are due. And that's a quick look at how do we create categories in the gradebook, how we integrate rubrics with assignments in Blackboard. Good luck!